Pastor Joseph Adenunga here, the pastor of Prevailing Church of Christ, Bethlehem, South Africa. Welcome to The Prevailing Life. This is The Prevailing Life Hour on YouTube. The topic of today's message is, who is behind my problem? Problems are forces of wickedness that are sent to your life to discourage you, to bring difficulties, to make life miserable. Problems are those things that disturb you and they appear in various forms. Sometimes in form of fighting at home with your husband or wife. Sometimes they appear in form of poverty, lack of job. Sometimes they appear in form of sicknesses and diseases. Sometimes they appear in form of disfavor everywhere you go. And sometimes they appear in form of nightmares in the dream. And different kinds of problems. You know what problems are. What uh, problems differ from people to people. But I can make bold to tell you there is no human being on the face of the earth who does not have a problem. Everyone has his own thing that is facing. Everyone has something that is looking up to God and saying, God, please let this thing be removed from my life. That is the way God created life. Life is full of problems. But the good news, as life is full of problems, there are solutions to problems. Problems originated from God. So when I ask the question, who is behind my problem? The answer to that simple question, the simple answer to that question is the devil. The Bible says that the devil sinned from the beginning. And um, because of that, the Son of Man was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. Remember in the book of Genesis chapter 1, verse 30, the Bible says God looked at everything that he created and everything was good. And Jesus in the New Testament was saying, in the beginning it was not so. There were no problems in the beginning. But when the devil came to the world, he came with problems. That's why the Bible says in the book of Revelation, chapter 12, from verse 7, if you read down to verse 12, in verse 10 or 11, it says, Rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth, because the devil has come unto you with rot, having great rot. Now, the devil came to the world, to this earth, with problems. So problems originate from the devil. When you have a problem, don't think where it comes from. It comes from the devil. And there are so many ways problems come into human life. Sometimes it comes to you, using you to be the originator of your own problem. But when it happens, there is also a source. That source is still the devil. And you must deal with the devil. And that is why the Bible says, the Son of Man was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. How do you begin to get solutions to your problem? The first thing to do is to give your life to Jesus as your Lord and Savior. When you give your life to Jesus, the end of problem is in sight. Hallelujah. I'm not saying that when you give your life to Jesus, all your problems will be solved. Yes, your problems will be solved. There will be challenges. Jesus said, the devil cometh but for to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But I have come that they might have life, and that they might have it more abundantly. There is solution to every problem. And that solution is in Jesus Christ. Now, have you accepted him as your Lord and Savior? If you have done, what is the solution? There are so many forms of solution. But I'm going to talk about only one. As a child of God, you have access to the Word of God. The Word of God is the power of God. When you speak your, the Word of God to your problem, your problem must bow. The word is built to make every problem to bow. How do you use the word? You begin to speak the word in the face of the problem. You look at the problem in the face and you say, the Bible says I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. You look at poverty in the face and you say, my God shall supply all my needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. You look at sickness and disease in the face, you say, by the stripes of Jesus I am healed. That is one way to solve problems. And that is where I will stop today. The Lord bless you. In Jesus' name, be blessed and remain blessed. Amen.